up late, so I didn't have time for makeup. So, um, I just straightened my hair because I didn't want to look that bad. <laughs> but I'm so tired. Like, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time I drink, it's like, I feel like I drink, like, all night long. I only had two, not even two full beers, a beer and a half. And I was so tired. I'm such a lightweight now. Should I be ashamed of myself? <laughs> the lighting sucks, but I'm going to show you my outfit today. Okay. See, my hair's not messy. It's just straight. Okay, so I'm wearing this flannel. It's really like loose flannel. And these blue jeans with my white converse that my sister handed me down. Do you see this? This is my back. This is like where my butt crack is going to start, like right here. Do you see that? That's crazy. I was telling them how I can't drink anymore. <laughs> like, I only had a beer and a half yesterday. And I was already like... <laughs> si, si no puedo tomar... Si ya sabes como me pongo, pa que me invitas? <laughs> That's Shane. It's an avocado. <laughs> my sister invited us for, or my sister and Shane invited us for breakfast. They were modeling the house. So cool. Doesn't she look like a milf on a Sunday? Prostitute that milf? you probably shouldn't be looking at. <laughs> like you yesterday looked like a baby prostitute. I know he said. He said, do you want to look like a hooker or you want to look like a prostitute? And I was like, or no, what did you say? A classy, uh, classy hooker. hooker or a, a prostitute? And I was like, in between. <laughs> Just watching some YouTube before I leave. And I should probably make some food before I leave so my husband doesn't think I'm horrible. I do not like how this foundation makes my skin look today. I'm wearing the L'Oreal Infallible. I love like the text. Oh, I love the texture of it and stuff. This one. It's just I don't know what's going on with me lately. Like my skin has been flipping out. I don't even know why, and it sucks. So, yeah. Isn't it crazy how big my nostrils are? Don't worry, if you ever have anything to say about them, I already know how big they are, thanks. Thank you so much. I've been like watching a lot of like Desi Perkins and um, Luster Lux on YouTube, but like I follow them on Snapchat too. Oh my gosh, they're hilarious. They like seriously remind me of me and my sister. Oh, this BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Conceal thingy. I love it. Um, at first, I was having a hard, <laughs> I was having a hard time liking this, but I really do like it. I got mine in the. Uh, I think mine's the medium one, but there's like a deep, medium, and light palette. So I have a question for you guys. I don't know if you mind me asking. What do you guys th feel or think about if you're married um, and you grew up? I just hate saying it like this because a lot of girls use it as an excuse but you literally like grew up with nothing but guy friends and the girlfriends you do have like you still talk to a handful of them literally like a handful of them but I don't really have a lot of girlfriends like I never really grew up to get along with a lot of girls like that's just how my sister and I are how do you guys feel like if you're married um, with your significant other having a friend of the opposite sex? So my husband knew since the beginning that I had a lot of guy friends, like church friends, friends from school, whatever the case may be, he knew that I had a lot of guy friends. And I know he has a lot of good girlfriends. I never ask questions I don't know all of them he has a lot of friends but like I'm also not the type of wife that's like 
give me your phone. I did it once and I flipped out. I'm not going to lie. I make mistakes. I'm not perfect. But I just had an insecure moment and flipped out. But we've been married for three years. I feel like if he had friends before me, that's fine. But if they're the disrespectful type of friends, then he knows what to do. I shouldn't have to tell him what to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, we're both grown-ups. We know, we know what's wrong. We know what's right. And we know what's wrong for our relationship when we know what's right for our relationship. But I feel like it's not my part or my spot to tell him, don't talk to her. You're married now. Like, I don't care. It sounds bad, but I don't care. Like, those are your friends. And like I said, you know what's right and you know what's wrong. So you know if it's a right friendship or a wrong friendship. And I feel like he's pretty much the same with me. He knows, you know, I've had, so, like, I grew up in church. I grew up. Um, going to different churches not because we switched churches and stuff but like my dad preached at different churches so he was well known in different areas of the Inland Empire and like LA and stuff so people whose children grew up with me like we're close there some of them were even like considered like my siblings like we grew up together they were like my best of friends were guys and they were guys I grew up with in church um but he's never told me, you know, like, don't talk to them anymore. You're married. Like, I don't understand why there's women like that that are, like, so insecure that have to tell their men not to talk to. Like, even my cousins. I've had cousins, I'm not even going to say names, who have girlfriends or wives or something who don't even let them come around me and my sister, like, because they're so jealous. And it's like, really? We're family. Where do you, are you, like... I don't know where you're from or where you came from or what kind of cousins you have, but no. And I've had a relationship before where he had an issue with cousins that, that I got along with like that. Is that, does that make sense? Like, um, he had an issue that me and my cousins would like tickle each other or laugh at each other or joke with each other or like, we're very, my sister and I are very inappropriate. We talk about vaginas and penises and joke we joke like that like that's just how we are <laughs> and we you know my cousins are all like that and you know we're very open let's just put it that way but there is some things that we keep private like I don't go tell people what me and my husband do at night like or you know like we don't we don't get that far but we do joke with each other like whatever go clean your vagina that's just how we are but like I've had a relationship where that was an issue and obviously I that's not the person that I ended up marrying. <laughs> that person obviously had issues with himself that he couldn't trust me for. So, and it ended up being being the other way around. He was cheating on me the whole time. So, <laughs> and that was like almost 2 years. Um, so do you know what I mean? Like it's just stuff like that that like throws me off. Like if I was to let everything in my past relationships get in the way of my marriage and my happiness then I would never be happy because I would be one bitter person because I've been through a lot <laughs> and not just in relationships like even when I was dating and um especially when I was dating I had the worst the worst experiences when I was dating that but when I learned to move on with my life and started you know, doing everything right for myself and stop being so bitter and so insecure and started loving myself and respecting myself is when somebody found me. You know, like, if you've been with someone for so long and know you can trust them, why are you going to be so insecure and not let them have friends anymore? Does that make sense? Everyone's responsible for their own actions and I'm nobody to judge. If you mess, you know, screw up my trust with you then I will learn not to trust you anymore and that's that that was weird how that turned into something else and I'm sure he would tell me himself because he does trust me but it's not often <laughs> he's only done it once one person made him uncomfortable and I understood because me and that person had dated but we were friends and we worked together and there was nothing we could do about it but I mean my ex-boyfriend lives next door. 
if he didn't trust me, like, <laughs> I don't know how much more, how much further it can get. We stayed friends and we don't hang out, but we stayed friends and mostly because of the neighborhood. Like we were keeping watch over each other's houses when I went on vacation and when I was going through stuff, I told him to keep an eye on my house while I was gone. And he did and I appreciate that. And all I'm saying is if somebody's putting you first than anything, then there's no reason for you to be so insecure. Um, I don't know. I think it's all trust. Trust. Trust is key. If you if you don't trust someone, then why are you with them? But like I said, nobody's perfect. We all learn from our mistakes. And I'm sorry. There's just some dude walking back and forth, up and down the street, and I'm just like entertained by his how fast he moves. So what I'm trying to say is, um, what do you do? to make your relationship better when it comes to friends of the opposite sex. Like, trust, communicate, as long as you're communicating and trusting each other. I don't know, what What do you do? <laughs> I was told by somebody that I shouldn't have friends of the opposite sex because I'm married. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that was a long piece of vlog. Probably because we have nothing to do right now. I'm just watching YouTube. I'm watching um, vlogs. One of, um, I guess he's kind of my neighbor. He lives up the street. But um, my husband knows his sister. And they're like friends or something. Um, I know his brother. And like they're pretty cool people. But um, he just started vlogging. But I'll put his channel down below so you guys can watch it. But um, my brother. <laughs> I love you brother. He says, that doesn't tickle me where it counts when he doesn't like something. <laughs> so we started saying it too. And then if you hear us say, no way, no way. Or, what was the other thing? Please. Or what was the other thing? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you right. That's Isaac. Cousin Isaac. Or AKA Big Daddy Kane. He likes being <laughs> called Big Daddy Kane. Uh, so I got the sudden craving for banana cream pie. So that's what we're gonna go get, banana cream pie. No, what's wrong with us? We're just craving everything right now. It's just when I'm about to start my period, he knows, and he starts getting cravings too. It's so weird. I'm not even kidding. If you have, if you, if you're significant, if you have a significant other, you know, or they know, when you're about to start, and they get cravings too. We're gonna go all the way to the Riverside Plaza to get some banana cream pie. My husband said he was taking me to Stagecoach. I got excited. She was craving sneak peek. Even though you guys already know what it is. How do you open this contraption? What are this? Hi, my queen. Hi. That's hers, and this is mine. What is that in your hands? My favorite fork. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally my favorite fork. That looks so good. Don't 
touch it! Just kidding. Dun, dun, dun. So cool. Our wedding night. We like to reenact our wedding every time we <laughs> use this. <laughs> So we finished dinner and that is sausage, alfredo, pasta. Can I see? can't see you. <laughs> Mom and dad are home. They were getting it on all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so it's already Sunday night. And we are pretty pooped from eating so much junk food. I'm going to try to edit this vlog mm. on the iPad again. What does it say? When you remember something stupid your friends did. <laughs> we had a pretty good weekend. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to edit on the iPad and upload it hopefully tonight. I was already falling asleep right now. He left me alone for a few minutes and I felt and I was already falling asleep. Why are you sweating? Is it hot? It's not hot. You're hot. We had a nice weekend. But I hope you guys really did have a nice weekend and I hope you have a good rest of the week and I'll see you guys tomorrow or you'll see me tomorrow. Ta-ta!